Are they running my name or? Right, yeah. you, just do some busy nights of dispatch has to get through all the things and they'll uh, check you in advice. Yeah. No initial? Yeah. Awesome. A. Sorry, save. Careful with your ID on your phone or anything like that. Because then I can just check it. Oh, good. I got a photo of it. You do? Yeah. Uh, it's not a license in different state. I know. Good phone number. Yeah. And you can always address for uh, local address. Yeah. Um, what is Saeed watching? He's doing this right in front of the police officer. He said he had his driving license, driver's license somewhere in his device, but pay attention to the pictures he's watching. This does not look like pictures from a driving license. I can see figures standing there. One looks like a female. He's watching the pictures that he received. At the same time, he's searching for his driving license. You can clearly see on the picture below somebody with a mask. The above picture I've shown you all the first time, I believe, a year ago, last summer, that looks like Kaylee sitting on a bed. And then, luckily, Kaylee's father and mother told us how Kaylee was found. They told ABC News she was found sitting on a bed. She was trapped between the wall and the bed. Is Saeed actually watching the crime scene pictures? The person with the mask looks, uh, looks like a female to me. I'm not sure. So that picture is clearly Saeed on the Banfield watching some pictures that look like Kaylee sitting on the bed. The other one you can see figures, one looks like a female. And the third one I showed you all is someone with the white mask. There are more of those pictures that I've shown in my channel, but I just find it really strange that this was the first timeline that we are given that the unlivings and the quadruples happen between 3 to 4 a.m. Pay attention to everything happening between 2.54. The reason I say 2.54 is where, that is when the Banfield video alcohol video started. It started around 2.53. I keep on mentioning this because this is important. Let's not forget at 2.52 was the last phone call made from the girls, Maddie and Kaylee, made the rest in peace to Jack D. He said he was sleeping, that's why he couldn't answer the phones. Quite strange. Because at 1.35, we have the time sign of Jack D, someone who looks identically like him, wearing the same shoes he wears, wearing the same cap, wearing the same jacket, sitting on a bar stool at the corner club. His friend, Adam, Lord, no, not Lord, Lauder, said that, Lauder, Adam Lauder was playing PlayStation downstairs while Jack D was sleeping upstairs. When he could have easily gone from the back side of the house, his window is located on the back side of the house. And when he's, when he's standing on the roof, you can clearly see that he can see into Kaylee's room. If he's not standing on the roof, I don't think it's easy for them to see directly into 1122 Kings Road. But I wonder how much of that can they see. 
I find it strange with Jack D because there are so many, I personally believe, red flags that can't be ignored. I've been showing you all for over a year the pictures of his hands and fingers injured. And I think that is really serious for someone to have their fingers and hands injured. And one of the pictures that I showed you all with his hands and fingers injured is his own picture on TikTok. He took it out later. His face looks really swollen. This was a tweet, tweet left to, I believe, the true crime world from the Corner Club. This is what they think about us interfering in the case. If you ask the bartender for something and they say no, but then you go ahead and do that thing, and they said no to, that is behavior that will get you removed from the establishment. It also makes you look like an a-hole. Don't be an a-hole. Hashtag rule number one. So that was the tweet that the Corner Club put up for the public to see. I'm sure people must have been harassing them in the beginning. I don't think necessarily harassing them, kind of asking them questions So about Maddie and Kaylee, because they were last seen at the corner club before they walked to the grub truck. And we heard Mr. Showalter saying clearly, you know they're going to get you for that Maddie. And that's when Kaylee says, Maddie, what did you tell Adam? Adam was at the corner club. Jack D was at the corner club. Jack Showalter was there. Maddie and Kaylee were there, may they rest in peace. Jovito was at the corner club because he mentioned how intoxicated Maddie was and she, she bumped on him at the corner club. So all these people were actually watching the girls, not watching, but they have been seeing the girls in the corner club before they came to the grub shop. Question is, how much do they know? How much are they willing to tell? I'm sure many people know exactly what happened that night. Either they're involved, or either they know somebody who's involved, or this is something maybe to do with the frats, but nobody wants to talk, obviously.